With a history steeped in religion, culture, and even civil war, Hawaii is no stranger to crazy urban legends. From legends surrounding the powerful and influential volcano goddess to modern myths of wandering spirits, the Aloha State isn't all sunshine and happiness. Pele Pele, the volcano goddess, can be found in many Hawaiian legends. It is said that if you meet a young, beautiful woman in red or an older lady with white hair, you must greet her with aloha and offer her help. If you refuse to help, death or heartbreak will fall upon your family. The Pali Highway It is said that Pele and the demigod Kamapua'a, a half-man, half-pig, had a bad breakup and agreed to never see each other again. The legend says that you cannot take pork over the Pali Highway, which separates the windward side of Oahu from Honolulu, because it means that you are symbolically taking Kamapua'a from one side of the island to the other. If you risk bringing pork across the highway, your car will stop at some point along the journey, and an old woman with a dog will appear. To continue on your way, you must feed the pork to the dog. The Manahune Manahune are dwarf-like creatures that reside in lush forests, far from civilization. These two-foot-tall creatures are portrayed as mysterious, but also have excellent craftsmanship, constructing anything they desire. They are credited with building the Manahune fish pond on Kauai in just one night. The Night Marchers The Huaka Ipo, also known as the Night Marchers, are the spirits of ancient Hawaiian warriors who have been cursed to march the islands for eternity. The Night Marchers are said to march in a single line, often carrying torches and weapons while chanting and playing drums. To protect yourself, you must lie on the ground face down in respect, otherwise the night marchers will kill you, or so they say. The Choking Ghost The Choking Ghost is said to be the most prevalent ghost in the islands, perhaps because so many cultures have a version of the Choking Ghost. In Hawaii, everyone seems to have a story about waking up in the middle of the night and feeling like something is pressing on their chest and choking them. You try to scream, but you can't. You try to move, but that fails too. And just when you think you'll suffocate, the ghost leaves. The Green Lady Dwelling in the forests of Wahiwa Gulch on Oahu, the Green Lady is a horrifying green-skinned figure with teeth like daggers and hair draped in rotten-smelling moss and seaweed. She's said to be the ghost of a woman who died from heartbreak after her child went missing on a walk through the gulch. Wandering in distress, she now spends her days in search of another child to snatch up for herself as a replacement. To this day, local children are warned not to go into the gulch lest they get taken by the Green Lady. Lava Rocks One of the most common modern legends in Hawaii warns against Pele's curse, which states that anyone who takes rock or sand away from the Hawaiian Islands will suffer bad luck until the items are returned. Whether this myth is the result of Pele, or merely a disgruntled park worker is unknown, but each year, hundreds of visitors send packages full of rocks and sand back to the island to relieve their bad luck. Mo'o The legendary protectors of Hawaii's pools, ponds, and streams are spirit creatures called Mo'o 
who can change forms from small geckos to giant dragons. They have supernatural powers to control the weather, ensuring the islands have plentiful water and fruitful harvests. If angered, they can whip up killer waves or sweep the targets of their wrath off steep cliffs to their deaths. If you're at one of Hawaii's lovely natural pools, drop a flower or branch in the water before venturing in. If the branch or flower gets swept away, it's a sign that the mo'o doesn't want to be disturbed, so it's best to go elsewhere for a dip. The Naupaka Flower With petals that grow in a half circle, the Naupaka is a unique flower found only in Hawaii. It's believed to have blossomed this way as a result of an ill-fated love affair between two students at a hula school in Kauai, where dating was forbidden. One night, a teacher spotted the couple and began chasing them. The girl, Paka, hid in a cave, but was found and killed by the teacher, who then chased the boy, now, up the mountain and killed him too. Later on, the flowers were seen growing at the sites where Paka and Nao were killed, their half petaled look a symbol of the couple's eternal separation. The Lehua Ohia Tree Entering a love triangle with powerful Pele is not going to end well if things don't go her way. The volcano goddess once fell in love with a dashing warrior named Ohia, but when he told her he was in love with a woman named Lahua, Pele exploded in a jealous rage and turned him into a tree. When Lahua found out, she was devastated. Her heartbreak soon caught the attention of the gods, who took pity on her and changed her into a flower that grew on the tree. Ohia and Lahua's symbiotic relationship lives on today, and it's believed that if you pick the flower, rain will fall soon after. Omakua An ancestral spirit that often takes the form of a plant or animal the Amakua was long an integral part of family traditions in Hawaii. As a guardian spirit with magical powers, the Amakua could always be called upon to help the family, and it was important to always respect one's Amakua to avoid any revengeful actions. If an Amakua appears, like if an owl comes to sit in a tree outside a family's home, or a sea turtle is spotted in the water, it's believed to be an omen of some sort, either good or bad. The Kaimuki House This hip neighborhood in Honolulu was once home to King Kalakaua's ostriches. Now, beyond its trendy bistros, it also boasts one of the creepiest houses in Hawaii. Prior to his death, Hawaiian Herald tabloid writer Glenn Grant was a booming voice and radio personality throughout the islands, once questioning the credibility of a ghost story on his live program, only to have the witness, allegedly locked up and indisposed, call him to furnish him with details. Grant took particular interest in the Kaimuki House, a large home unwelcoming to visitors, to put it mildly that many claim is ghosted by a quote, man-eating ghoul. A terror ripped from the pages of Japanese folklore stories. Its myth reaches back to 1942, when police arrived at the Kaimuki house amid complaints, only to find a home full of children levitating, thrashing about the room, and smarting from invisible forces. Roughly 30 years later, a couple who had just moved in reported, quote, inexplicable drafts of chilly air and sightings of an armless woman missing her legs. Blame Kapu. Some reports maintain the house witnessed a series of murders, including a male occupant who murdered his wife and two kids and buried them in the backyard. Interested property owners take note. The residents' phantoms will let you be if you leave out food and toss water through the windows as an offering. 